In this video, I'm going to tackle a question that came to me this week about a misbehaving tables of contents. In particular, page numbers that wouldn't align properly. Now, whenever you get a problem like this, the best place to turn is your TOC styles and make some modifications and make sure that everything is in line and consistent. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that, what to look out for, and it'll provide some foolproof methods to make sure that your styling is consistent. So first of all, let's take a look at what we have here. Down the bottom, I've just got some very simple content. I've used a mixture of heading one and heading two styles. Of course, the table of contents, when you build it, builds off the heading styles that you've used throughout your document. So here's my tables of contents, very simple. When I click on it, it goes gray. That just proves to me that Word is controlling this. I don't have to worry about it. It updates itself automatically. Now, because these headings are so short, what I do with most of my tables of contents is to put them into two columns. You don't have to do that, and it all depends on how long or how short your headings are that you're actually putting into your table of contents. But very simply, if I select the tables of contents here, I'll go to the layout tab at the top, and I'll choose columns and switch it to two columns. It just divides it nicely, and you can fit a lot more on your page if you do that. Now, straight away, you can see that we've hit a problem in that the page numbers have disappeared off somewhere. So off the edge of the page here, and they just don't show over here. So what we're gonna do is to fix up, make some modifications, to the TOC1 and the TOC2 styles. Now those two styles don't appear in your main gallery at the top here. So what you need to do is to click the little launcher in the corner of the styles group. That displays the styles in a pane on the right-hand side. You can also make that a floating pane if you want to. And if you come down towards the bottom, you'll see TOC1 and TOC2. So let's start with TOC1. I'm gonna right-click here and modify. What's gonna fix the positioning of the page numbers correctly is tabs. Now, generally, I'm not a big fan of tabs. I don't promote it heavily, but occasionally you need to use them because there's no other way to get around it. If I just drag this dialog down a little bit so we can see the ruler at the top here, this is where the columns are divided and arranged. Now, I'm actually gonna close this for a reason, and that is that I can't see the proper measurements on the ruler at the top. It's basically going out from the center. So let's just click down here in an empty space. You can see the proper ruler then. And what I wanna do is just, just align up here roughly so that's about the eight, eight and a half centimeter mark there in the first column. And then over here, where we wanna put the page numbers, that's gonna be about the 17 centimeter mark. So let's just use whole numbers. Let's use eight centimeters and 17 centimeters. Let's go back to our TOC one and two. Let's right click TOC one and modify once again. And come down to the format tab at the bottom and choose tabs. If you haven't set any tabs before, it uses the default tab positions of 1.27 centimeters. That's half inch in the old money and they're used whenever you press the tab position to indent your text in the document. If you provide your own tab positions, it will override the defaults. So the first tab position, I'm gonna put at eight centimeters. I'm gonna make it a right tab position, which means the rightmost digit remains in the same position and the text works its way to the left as the numbers get bigger. That's exactly what you want in terms of alignment. And for the tab leader, I'm gonna use the dots here. That's my first one. Always make sure you press set. Even if later on you're editing, you always need to make your change and then press set again to affect that change. The second tab position I'm gonna do is 17 centimeters. Again, I'm gonna make that a right tab type and use the dot leader. Click set, two positions in play, then click okay. And that's TOC one done. Of course, if you wanna mess around with the fonts, the colors, the sizing, etc., that's all up here. Let's click okay. Now you can see already, the heading ones are already correct. Let's now tackle the heading twos, or the TOC twos in this case. So let's just come down to the list. Let's right click on TOC two and modify and repeat the process. So format, tabs, and let's set our tab positions. The first one at eight centimeters. It's a right tab type with the dot leader, set. Second one is 17 centimeters. I'm gonna use the right tab type again and the dot leader again. Set it and click OK. And OK again. Now, all the page numbers are exactly where you want them to be, right aligned. If you have a really long heading, this one wasn't quite long enough, I was hoping it would be, but it sometimes goes onto a second line and it sometimes impedes on your page number on the right-hand side. So here's another thing you can do to address that issue. Let's just add a bit of text onto this. And when we refresh the tables of contents, that's now gonna split across two lines, of course. So click to get the gray shading, F9 to refresh, 
update the entire table, and there's our new tables of contents, albeit back to one column. So if I just reselect the table of contents, go back to the Layout tab and choose Columns and 2 once again, you can see down here this time that that text is getting very close to the page number. So let's address that. This is the TOC2, so I'm going to right click on TOC2 and Modify. In the dialog, I'll choose Format, and this time the paragraph settings for the style. And you can see already that it's indented 0.39 centimeters from the left. That's fine. Let's just maybe nudge that up to 0.4 so it's nice and round. But I'm also going to indent it from the right hand side, maybe by the same amount, trial and error really. But let's start with 0.4 and click OK and click OK again. And what you can see is that it's added a bit of indentation space on the right hand side now. So even if the numbers got to you know triple digit page numbers, that's not going to impede. If it did, if it got to that stage, you just increase the indent on the right hand side to give it a bit more space to breathe. And I'll just leave you with one final tip. If you're ever unsure of what formatting is currently being applied, or you just can't work out why something is not behaving the way it should, you can reveal the formatting. Now to turn on this feature, you just press Shift F1, and it gives you another pane on the right hand side called Reveal Formatting. And then wherever you place your cursor, it shows you the formatting for that particular style. So down here, this is the TOC2. You can see under indentation, under the paragraph settings, 0.4 and 0.4. It also shows you what font attributes you're currently using, what other paragraph elements you're using. And down at the bottom, you'll see the tabs that we set as well, set to eight centimeters and 17 centimeters. So all that kind of stuff, once you see it laid out, it often identifies the problem really quickly. If I click on, say, a TOC1 heading, it shows you all the settings for that. If I click the title style at the top, it shows you all the attributes for that particular style. I love this feature. It's not very well known, but it isolates and identifies where a problem is really quickly. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this, definitely subscribe. And if you want to be notified when new videos are released, click the bell as well. If it's helpful, I'll put a link to this particular file in the show notes underneath this video. So if you want to go and look at it for yourself and make some changes and play around, you're welcome to do that. If you have any questions at all or any feedback or comments, put them in the comments beneath this video. I look at them all and I respond to every comment that comes in. So if there's something on your mind, put something in those comments beneath. Enjoy the rest of your day.